Hello YouTube Wise Fifi here coming at you today on a Wednesday evening. Sorry that it's a little late for my friends in Europe, but it's around the mid-afternoon for those in America, so hopefully there's a little bit of a balance of both. But we're coming at you with a marquee matchup squad builder challenge today. We're gonna be looking at the marquee matchup that's gonna fe feature for the weekend, and that should be the weekend of February 24th, 25th, and 26th. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's it. I don't really have my date book next to me. But I will, in the future, it seems that EA Sports have been doing this early week marquee matchups, and I know that they've definitely been doing that because of the European matches. So I don't think unless there's uh, Champions League or Europa League in the midweek, I don't think they're going to continue to do this trend. So I think there's going to be a break for a week or two after this week. But when it comes around again, I'll definitely be on top of that and definitely prepared to talk about that too because that is a great way to make some money. And if you had some cards, whatnot, it's just a great way to make some money or to get prepared to get some packs. But this week I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about the, as usual, the four main mar marquee matchups I think are going to feature for the weekend. And then the sleepers. This marquee matchup should feature, it's either going to feature tomorrow or Friday. Hopefully it's Friday so you guys have a little bit more time to invest, but a new sweet team of the week was released and there's definitely going to be prices for players at a low, so you guys definitely can still pick up some deals for this. So, first we are going to get into a matchup that is the FA Cup matchup. Two teams, or not FA Cup, I think this is the EFL Cup. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Manchester United versus Southampton. This is going to be a big game. And I can't see EA ignoring this. I mean, it's po it's postponed the Manchester Derby, which would have been another solid shout, but that will just be in the future. So we'll look at some of these Manchester United players. I mean, you really uh, – of course, I should have put some search parameters on. Sorry about that, guys. But you really can't go wrong with some low-rated golds to have from Manchester United, just even in the future. I'll put down some bids here, but these are – if you, you guys can definitely take over from that. But – there's definitely some good options for that, and there's a bunch of nice non-rare options for Southampton, and that is going to be a solid team to be able to invest in. I can see this being a, a squad that needs a rating of around 79, maybe. EA likes have been doing that lately, so your likes of Tadic and whatnot could be better shouts. Cedric there is not bad at all. Don't be afraid to dabble in the rares if you're trying to complete this, but if you're looking for the best returns, I suggest going the non-rare route. Next, we're going to head to the Liga Santander, and we're going to go, this is a rivalry, and this is a derby that I definitely think will feature, and it's going to be Real Betis versus uh, Sevilla. Not a lot of people are talking about this, I don't think, for the weekend, and I think that this could definitely be a good shout. I'm Actually, as, as I say that, I'm sure now people are talking about it and people have gotten in on the investment trends, but definitely go ahead and pick up some players for this because I cannot really see EA ignoring this. That is such a, it's a pretty historic rivalry in Real Betis and Sevilla. Betis has been flip-flopping between the leagues and there's definitely some good players and high-rated players that you can snag from the, uh, from Sevilla. Not so much from Betis, but I definitely think that this is going to be a nation's requirement, like a minimum nation's requirement, not just a Spanish one. So now we're going to move over to the league. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter than usual for my marquee matchups just because I know that there's not as much time for you guys to invest in these players, but also just because I think a shorter video is a little bit easier for everybody to follow along too. So here we go. You see that Cabela talk about a downgrade. That was hilarious. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the league uh, upgrades and down, uh, upgrades and rating refresh or whatever they call it. But uh, Cabela is now going to be a six silver. I'm really hoping to get my hands on him and use him in a squad when I actually get back on my console. But the next, it's Marseille versus PSG, Paris Saint-Germain. I definitely think that this is a solid rivalry that EA will pick out. I know that they're not, I know that Marseille's not doing the best, but it's still a big, it's still a historic big club in France. So that being said, this could be one of the main ones that gets ousted for a couple of the sleepers that I'm about to go through. But this next one that, I, that I'm going to feature, I cannot see them ignoring this one either, considering that it will bring some diversity. And we're going to the Turkish League, and we're going to go with Besiktas versus uh, Besiktas versus Galatasaray, or rather Galatasaray versus Besiktas, because I believe it is in uh, it at Galatasaray. Galatasaray is the home team. You see here, I'm sorry, I was really going fast there. Um, but you see here, there's some player prices that are not too bad at all. 
And you definitely can probably snag some of these guys for less than 500 coins, and that could be really profitable. Also, for this league, do not be afraid to look at other wingbacks for different teams because the last time that they released a Turkish League team, or usually when they release a Turkish League team, the defenders go for a ridiculous amount of coins, and that can really help. That can really be a nice way, in considering that if some of these players start to get a little price locked or price fixed or whatever, that could be a good way to alleviate uh, or really just manage your money better. Sorry here, I'm just checking a couple things here. I got a couple trades here. I'm going to pick up that. Of course I'm going to pick up this one to watch, Julian. But that will be for a later video. I'm sorry, that's got a little sidetracked there. But I figured you guys might not mind a little uh, a little trading a uh, little trading divergence there. We're going to go next to the Air Divisi, and we're going to go, and this is going to be a matchup between two high placed teams in this league. And this is a sleeper, though. And this is going to be uh, Feyenoord versus, uh, I, correct me if I'm saying that wrong, I've always wanted to know how to say that. But you, you can see here there's some cheap, places, cheap players here. And we're going to go with Feyenoord versus PSV. This is going to be a big game for them. I believe this is either, I think this is one versus three. But go ahead and feel free to pick up these Morenos. I mean, 550 for a Moreno that could have that could be pretty profitable. But of course, there's other players that if you can pick these guys up for around the 400 to 450 range, you're not going to lose a lot of coins on investments, even if this squad doesn't get featured. And of course, there's the squad builder challenge, league squad builder challenges for this league. So these players always do usually sell on. So next, we're going to move into the second league of England, and this is a rivalry um, that. This is a derby. This is a rivalry. So we're going to start with Birmingham, but it's Wolves versus Birmingham. I'm not sure how many gold players. Now that Gardner transferred, this could be a good shout. But this is definitely a squad builder. This will be a definitely a squad builder where it will be like a minimum of one player for either team or maybe just two, like the two total, like players from Wolves and um, Birmingham so that it won't be too ridiculous. And I could see this being around a 70 two maybe or 70 requirement and I'm not sure a lot of these uh, both these teams do seem to have um, a mix of nationalities so this could be one where it could be a mix of nationalities and of course uh, if you pick up English players they always sell on and, and there's always squad builder challenges here and there that feature English teams or players that need to be from the English league so that's another one with a really low risk investment and finally we are going back to the Liga Santander and we're gonna go and this is a big matchup between two high placed teams in the league and it is going to be Atletico Madrid versus Barcelona and I I just not necessarily sure I can see this one squeaking in but it's all it's never in bad time it's never an issue to pick up these players for cheap, I mean, league, uh, Liga Santander, La Liga players always go for a lot, and I mean, there's, I mean, this is actually a really good time. The market's kind of in a lull. If you can pick up some of these players for 300 coins, are you kidding me? Granted, it will probably be a higher uh, rating requirement, but that's still a really solid, that's still a really solid uh, investment, even at, like I said, even if they don't pan out, and that's because of just future squad builder challenges or especially picking up Spanish players or whatnot, there's always La Liga player, players or things being featured. So you can pick up these guys and even use them for the Real Betis versus Sevilla matchup or whatnot. But again, another low risk investment. So right now, guys, I'm going to go to the store. We'll open one pack, but I'll give you guys a quick little recap here uh, about what we're looking at. So main, the mains we're looking at, Manchester United versus Southampton, Real Betis versus Sevilla, uh, Olympic Marseille versus PSG, Galatasaray versus Besiktas, and then some sleepers that I think can sneak in there, Feyenoord versus PSV, Wolves versus Birmingham, and Atletico Madrid versus Barca. Let's see if we can pull any players from that or any of these matchups in this pack. Maybe someone from the new team of the week. I'm, and Oh, Corondelli. There we go. We do get a Sevilla player. We got a nice thousand coins there. Tatu Rosano. I love the Fiorentina thing. But I'm probably just going to store all these guys in. Actually, I'll send him to the trade the transfer list. But other than that, going to just redeem these coins and send the rest to the club. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Been trying to get a new initiative on the channel to help you guys amass your foot fortunes and look out for a foot market watch the first one i'm going to do it's going to be up a little bit later tonight but make sure you guys like and subscribe let me know if i missed any mar marquee matchups in this comment section below maybe a lower league but most importantly stay wise